Only three names of prominent Papua New Guineans were endorsed with the Clerk of Parliament, Kala Alpha, to contest the vice regal post. The three incumbent Governor General, Grand Chief Sir Bob Darai, endorsed by the Pangu Party, Lawyer Stephen Pokowin, endorsed by National Alliance Party, and former diplomat Winnie Kiap, endorsed by the Central Governor, Rufina Pita. The credentials of the three are as follows Sir Bob Darai, 61, from Dawat Village, Samungan, Warabe Province, was sworn in as the 10th Governor General on February 28, 2017, and was commissioned by Queen Elizabeth II on June 30, 2017. Sir Darai worked hard from an early age where he graduated with a Master's of Business Administration at the Griffith University, Brisbane, Australia in 1995 and served as Kabum MP from 2002 to 2016 before taking up his current post a year later. The second contestant vying for the GG post was Stephen Pokowin from Manus, a foundation member of the National Alliance Party and his senior lecturer of law at the University of Papua New Guinea. Pakuin was also the former governor of Manus. The third and first ever woman to vie for the governor general post was Miss Winnie Kiap from Baluan Island in the Manus province. Kiap is a University of Queensland graduate. She served as cabinet secretary before being posted as high commissioner to the United Kingdom from 2011 to 2022. As the week drew to an end, support for the only woman candidate gained momentum. The NCD Women's Council taking the lead to voice the support for Miss Winnie Kiap for the post of vice regal. Long-time women's advocate Barbara Toya said after 47 years, it is time for a female to take the largely ceremonial post of Governor-General. We trust that she would be a good candidate for the Governor-General's post. And with that, she will hold the confidence for women to be given such high positions in this country. And it is also during this term of parliament that we will be celebrating our 50 years of independence. The women have collectively stated that they have secured 20 seats in the public gallery to show their support and presence whilst observing the secret ballot come Thursday. They are appealing to the members of parliament to seriously consider Ms. Kia when casting their votes. On behalf of the National Council of Women, which comprises of the 22 provinces in this country, I appeal to the members of the parliament and those that are responsible to give, a, give the women this mandate because it is, it is time. On Thursday, the 19th of January, the public gallery began filling up as the nation watched with earnest the sitting of Parliament. The first order of business was to see if incumbent Governor General Grand Chief Sir Bob Darai had the numbers to take part in the secret ballot. Over 90 members stood up showing the support for the incumbent Sir Bob Duddy to take part in the race for the Governor General post. The Parliament clerk and the attendants collected the votes in the secret ballot and tallied the votes and passed it on to Speaker of the National Parliament Job Pomet to deliver the results which saw the elimination of lawyer Stephen Pokowin. Bob Duddy, 69. Mr. Stephen Pokowin, 3 and Ms. Winnie Kiap, 31. Honourable members, the candidate with the least number of votes, Mr. Stephen Pokowit, will be excluded from further ballot and a second ballot shall be held immediately. Following the elimination of Pokowin, the second secret ballot was held, which saw Sir Bob Duddy retain his seat with 71 votes to 33, finishing ahead of Miss Winnie Kiap. Deputy Opposition Leader was first to convey his congratulations and he had this message for the Grand Chief Sir Bob Duddy. That you sit down inside of this powerful office, it is your responsibility, Governor General, to remain impartial and be a protector and a guardian of the constitution of Papua New Guinea. Yeah. Your election is an election of confidence in this high office. Serve the interest of this great nation, Prime Governor General. Mr. Speaker, let me emphasize that the buck stops with you, Governor General. 
The Prime Minister also offered up his congratulations. James Marape said the ruling Pangu Party and other members of the coalition government supported the re-election of Sir Bob Darai as Governor-General in Parliament to maintain continuity and stability. Also into this vacancy that was looming, or the another opportunity to vote that was looming in our term of Parliament. And right from the start, uh, we had no reason to doubt Sebob's uh, impartial standing, Sebob's performance as uh, Governor General, and long before Ms. Kiap expressed her intention to run, or long before Mr. Pokawin expressed uh, his interest to put a hand up, uh, already government had te- taken resolution for continuity and stability. Prime Minister Marape then thanked Ms. Kiap and Mr. Pokowin for their candidacy for Governor General. As well as uh, Big Barry, Winnie Kiap, Anthem Bigman, Stephen Pokowin. Uh, the two candidates that uh, came third and second, uh, equally women and men of uh, good standing in our society. Mr. Speaker, may like so thank you, Law, for expressing interest. Following the proceedings in Parliament, Ms. Winnie Kiap offered a congratulations to Sir Bob Dadai. Ms. Kiap also spoke of the process of election. Says is that it's a democratic process, and it's a process that should have a moral basis as well, because whatever is democratic is always based, always has moral basis. So the process was good. Um, for me, I, I want to thank those who had helped me, Sir Pukatemu, member for Abao, who sponsored my candidacy, um, central governor, Rufina Peter, who did a lot of legwork. Ms. Kiap also hopes that her actions can inspire younger women to dare to dream. I stood as, as a, a person, a Papua New Guinean. Not as a woman necessarily, not from New Guinea Islands, just just a person who thought that I was, you know, fit for the purpose, I could do the job. Um, but there was a lot of that support there from women's groups. And um, I just hope that my having gone that far, because no women candidate has gone that far in the process before, I hope that young women of Papua New Guinea can take courage in that and know that it is possible. The historic win for a second term left Governor-General Grand Chief Sir Bob Dorai overwhelmed with gratitude. As a Christian, I want to acknowledge God for uh, what addition that was made by our leaders, members of parliament. Secondly, I want to say thank you to Marape Rosso government. Um, they have seen it. Uh, they, they, they saw that, uh, saw the confidence uh, of the work that I do here at the government house. The Vice Regal paid the ultimate tribute to former UK Ambassador Winnie Kiap and lawyer Stephen Pokowin. Express my appreciation uh, to my. Uh, uh, to good friends who, who provide that challenge. They are very qualified uh, professionals, uh, leaders in their own rights. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Marape will inform Buckingham Palace that Sir Bob Dadai has been re-elected as Vice Regal. Following this, Sir Bob Dadai will be called to England where he will officially be sworn in by King Charles III.